Virginia CDL practice test. Question 1. If you are traveling at 55 miles per hour in a 30-foot vehicle, you should leave how many seconds of following distance? 6 seconds 4 seconds 7 seconds 3 seconds Answer 4 seconds Question 2. On what roads, you should reduce your speed by? One half. One quarter. One third. Sixty percent. Answer. One third. Question 3. Which of the following is the key steering component? Leaf spring, gearbox, bearing plate, torque rod. Answer. Gearbox. Question 4. Which of the following should you do when attempting a left turn at an intersection? Start your turn when you reach the center of the intersection. Start your turn before reaching the center of the intersection. Always use your horn. Make sure you flash your high beams. Answer Start your turn when you reach the center of the intersection. Question 5. What action should you do before driving while drowsy? Drink energy drinks. Open your vehicle winds for some fresh air. Pull off the road and get some sleep. Drink a cup of coffee. Answer Pull off the road and get some sleep. Question 6. If you experience a hazardous materials emergency, you should Prevent smoking and keep hope and flame away. Keep people away from it. Warn others of the danger of it. All of the above. Answer All of the above. Question 7. In which of the following situations are you most likely to jackknife? When you are driving on soft gravel. When your trailer is full, or carrying a heavy load. When your trailer is empty, or carrying a light load. When you are driving in especially windy conditions. Answer When your trailer is empty, or carrying a light load. Question 8. Before transporting a sealed load, you must check A small sample of whatever is inside That you don't exceed gross weight and axle weight limits A picture of whatever is inside All of the above Answer That you don't exceed gross weight and axle weight limits Question 9. Total stopping distance is a combination of Perception distance plus reaction distance plus braking distance Braking distance plus stopping distance Reaction distance plus braking distance Reaction distance plus viewing distance plus braking distance Answer Perception distance plus reaction distance plus braking distance. Question 10. What are you required to do if you discover anything unsafe during your pre-trip inspection, according to state and federal law? 
inform your supervisor, and then start your trip. Fix it before you drive. Drive more cautiously until it is fixed. Report it to your supervisor to be fixed after your trip. Answer Fix it before you drive. Question 11. Retarders keep you from skidding on the road because They help reduce your reaction distance. They don't. You skid more easily with retarders. They give you more control over your brakes. They help you control your speed. Answer They don't. You skid more easily with retarders. Question 12. While driving at night, which beams should you use as often as you can? Novelty lights Low beams High beams Emergency flashers Answer High beams Question 13. How often are drivers required to inspect their vehicles, per federal and state law? At the beginning of every trip once per month at the end of every trip once per week answer at the beginning of every trip question 14 what constitutes a hazardous materials placard signs on the outside of the vehicle that identify the hazard class of cargo Signs that help tax collectors determine how much to tax a hazardous cargo. Signs that warn the public to stay at least 1,000 feet away from the vehicle. Signs on the inside of the vehicle that remind the driver what he is carrying. Answer Signs on the outside of the vehicle that identify the hazard class of cargo. Question 15. What is the minimum age for transporting hazardous materials? 25 years old. 18 years old. 20 years old. 21 years old. Answer. 21 years old. Question 16. Which of the following is the definition of gross vehicle weight? Total weight of single vehicle plus your cargo. Total weight of your cargo. Total weight of single vehicle plus cargo, minus fuel. Total of axle weight plus vehicle weight plus cargo weight plus fuel weight. Answer. Total weight of single vehicle plus your cargo. Question 17. Which of the following should you do if the road is icy? Maintain speed and do not apply your brakes. Increase speed. Reduce speed and stop driving as soon as you are able. All of the above. Answer. Reduce speed and stop driving as soon as you are able. Question 18. You don't want to be a distracted driver, so you Have all your emotionally hard conversations in the first hour of driving. Smoke, eat, and drink during straight portions of the road. Only read maps or your phone when there are no cars around you. If possible, turn off your cell phone until you reach your destination. Answer If possible, turn off your cell phone until you reach your destination.
Question 19, how long will you lose your CDL driving privileges if you are convicted of a second DUI offense in either CMV or your private vehicle? 10 years minimum. 1 year minimum. 5 years minimum. Life. Answer. Life. Question 20. Which of the following is not something you should check during a trip? Tires. Cargo and cargo covers. Mirrors. Text messages. Answer. Text messages. Question 21. What happens when you let the air out of hot tires? This is a good idea so the extra pressure is relieved. This is a bad idea because when the tires cool off, the pressure will be too low. It has no effect at all. It will cool them down. You will be able to continue your journey sooner. Answer. This is a bad idea because when the tires cool off, the pressure will be too low. Question 22. When driving in hot weather, how often should you inspect the tires? Every 2 hours or 100 miles. Every 4 hours or 100 miles. Every 3 hours or 100 miles. Every hour or 50 miles. Answer. Every 2 hours or 100 miles. Question 23. An anti-lock braking system will Shorten your stopping distance. Keep your brakes from locking up when you brake hard. Increase a vehicle's ultimate stopping power. Let you drive faster. Answer. Keep your brakes from locking up when you brake hard. Question 24. What is a common cause of tire fires? Overinflated tires. Cold tires. Underinflated tires. All of the above. Answer. Underinflated tires. Question 25. How can you start moving without rolling backward? Engage the clutch before removing your foot from the brake. Apply the hand valve. Put on the parking brake whenever necessary. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 26. What is the best way to figure out how many seconds of following distance you have? Get one fourth closer to the car in front of you, then back off again. Multiply how long this took you by four for following distance. Use the stopwatch on your phone to try to determine how long before you reach a mile marker after the car in front of you appeared to reach it. Wait until a vehicle passes a shadow or landmark, and count the seconds until you pass it. Text a friend and tell them to text you back in 10 seconds and see how long that seemed to take compared to far you traveled. Answer Wait until a vehicle passes a shadow or landmark, and count the seconds until you pass it. Question 27. How often should you check your tires when you are hauling a hazardous materials load? Every hour or 50 miles. Every hour. Every 3 hours or 150 miles. 
every 2 hours or 100 miles? Answer. Every 2 hours or 100 miles. Question 28. How can you determine if your vehicle is equipped with ABS? Check if your vehicle was manufactured after March 1, 1998. They are required to have the panel light. Look for wheel speed sensor wires that are coming from the rear of your brakes. Check for yellow ABS malfunction lamps on the instrument panel. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 29. Which of the following should you not do if you experience a tire failure? Be aware that a tire has failed. Engage the brakes hard and immediately. Stay off the brake pedal. Hold the steering wheel firmly. Answer. Engage the brakes hard and immediately. Question 30. Which of these is not part of the basic method for shifting up? Release the clutch and press the accelerator at the same time. Accelerate while pressing the clutch and turning toward the driver's side. Release the clutch. Push in the clutch and shift into higher gear at the same time. Answer. Accelerate while pressing the clutch and turning toward the driver's side. Question 31. Always try to back toward the driver's side because Your truck will naturally pull toward the driver's side. It's more comfortable for turning your neck. You can see better, watching the vehicle rear out the side window. All of the above. Answer. You can see better, watching the vehicle rear out the side window. Question 32. Which of the following is a good thing to remember about using mirrors? There are blind spots they cannot show you. Check them twice for lane change. Convex mirrors make things look larger and closer than they are. You should look at your mirror several times a second. Answer There are blind spots they cannot show you. Question 33. What will help a drunk sober up? Coffee Time a glass of water. Fresh air. Answer. Time. Question 34. Which of the following causes vehicle fires? Driver smoking in a rest area. Flammable cargo with proper ventilation. Spilled fuel cleaned up quickly and properly. Short circuits and loose connections. Answer. Short circuits and loose connections. Question 35. How many seconds does it take for a normal tractor trailer to clear a double track? More than 30 seconds. 14 seconds 10 seconds More than 15 seconds Answer More than 15 seconds Question 36. Where should you place your warning devices, if you must stop on a one-way or a divided highway? 10 feet, 100 feet and 200 feet toward approaching traffic. 100 feet, 200 feet, 
and 300 feet toward approaching traffic. 50 feet, 100 feet, and 150 feet toward approaching traffic. 20 feet, 50 feet, and 100 feet toward approaching traffic. Answer 10 feet, 100 feet, and 200 feet toward approaching traffic. Question 37. To help you stay alert and safe while driving, you should Drink coffee if you get drowsy. Avoid medications with warning labels. Have a whiskey to brace yourself. Roll down your windows to get fresh air. Answer Avoid medications with warning labels. Question 38. The minimum tire tread depth for front tires is 3 eighths inch depth 4 30 seconds inch depth 1 half inch depth 1 30 second inch depth Answer 4 30 seconds inch depth Question 39. How many tie downs are required for a 20 foot load? 3 tie downs. 1 tie down. 2 tie downs. 4 tie downs. Answer 2 tie downs. Question 40. Which of the following should you do when confronted by an aggressive driver? Ignore rude gestures and refuse to react negatively. If you can safely do it, call the police from a cell phone. Avoid eye contact. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 41. Which two special conditions indicate that you should downshift? Starting down a hill and entering a curve. Starting up a hill and entering a curve. Starting down a hill and finishing a curve. Starting up a hill and finishing a curve. Answer. Starting down a hill and entering a curve. Question 42. Which of these are you not responsible for it when it comes to your cargo? Ensuring the freshness of sealed cargo. Making sure that cargo is properly secured. Inspecting the cargo. Recognizing possible overloads. Answer. Ensuring the freshness of sealed cargo. Question 43. Which of the following is not a requirement to operate a CMV safely? Steering. Shifting gears. Accelerating. Hazardous materials endorsement. Answer. Hazardous Materials Endorsement Question 44. Why should you cover cargo? To protect individuals from any spilled cargo. Because many states require it. To protect your cargo from bad weather. All of the above. Answer all of the above. Question 45. You should place the starter switch key into your pocket while you are performing the pre-trip inspection because It could damage the starting mechanism. Someone could steal the truck. 
someone could start and move the truck. All of the above. Answer. Someone could start and move the truck. Question 46. Which of the following is not a good thing to do when you are driving on slippery roads? Use your retarder or engine brake. Use a light touch on both brake pedals and the accelerator. Keep traffic out of your side space. Make necessary turns as gently as you can. Answer Use your retarder or engine brake. Question 47. Which of the following is most likely to get stuck on raised railroad crossings? An empty moving van. A single axle tractor making a return journey empty. A single axle tractor pulling a regular trailer. A low slung car carrier. Answer. A low slung car carrier. Question 48. If you double your speed, how much more distance will it take to stop? Twice as much. Four times as much. Five times as much. Three times as much. Answer. Four times as much. Question 49. The most important hand signal you should agree on with a helper is. Go. Faster. Stop. Turn up the music. Answer. Stop. Question 50. Why is it important to use a helper when backing? Because you are providing a job for someone else. Because people feel more comfortable when you do. Because you have blind spots. All of the above. Answer. Because you have blind spots. Thank you for watching the video and wish you will get your driver license soon.